Now, people in Margate might have been a little confused today to see uh, dozens of people being very glamorous in all their evening wear turning up at the town's Theatre Royal because the venue's been transformed into the setting of a BAFTA-style award ceremony for a new film called The Carer, which is starring some pretty top British talent. Yeah, locals may have been lucky enough to spot the likes of Brian Cox, Amelia Fox. They rhyme. It's good, isn't it? And I'm a chancellor amongst the uh, 100 extras who were drafted in today. And the film itself tells the tale of an ageing actor who forms an unlikely relationship with his immigrant carer. Our reporter Robin Gibson's been there for a sneak peek. He joins us now from outside uh, the theatre. And we understand, Robin, that they're still filming. They certainly are. They came in yesterday, the uh, set builders and the art people, to create this scene inside the theatre role, which is, of course, perfect for what they want. Um, we've been watching them all day. They've been there since early this morning. They're still there tonight and a few hours to go yet, I should think. It's been a pretty intensive day on the set. The scene being shot here is an award ceremony for which the Theatre Royal in Margate makes the perfect backdrop. The audience are hardened film extras as well as Margate locals and making it all work a partly Hungarian film crew. Centre stage is Amelia Fox. I play Sophia who is the daughter of Sir Michael Gifford played by the brilliant Brian Cox. Um, who is a famous actor, um, but who is getting older and more incapable. And uh, the people around him, uh, who are close to him, are trying to protect uh, him from the public finding out. You know the sample from Sam Honeywell's body? She is, of course, familiar for her role in Silent yeah, well, Witness. Um we need stuff to keep the sports fans hooked. And Brian Cox is a renowned Shakespearean actor with many film and TV roles to his credit. Today in Margate, he was eager to be among the extras. Many of those were seeing a film set for the first time. We found it on Facebook and uh, they were advertising, so we, um, we emailed and, and signed up. Very, very interesting, very exciting. It feels as if you're part of um, something really quite creative. It just shows how much of uh, improvement Margate's making in attracting people into the area now that, that are interested in, you know, investing money in putting productions on like this. It isn't just Margate. When the carer is released in spring 2016, there'll be many Kentish landmarks to spot. We've been filming um, all, all around Kent, uh, near Maidstone, Borton Montrelsey Place. And we've been filming in various pubs and uh, a care home, so we're, we're all over the, the, the county. It's another example of Kent's burgeoning film location industry. Filming finishes here today before moving on to many other locations around the county in the coming weeks. Well, the thing we've been watching today, we're told, in the way that films work is actually the end of the film. And we're sworn to secrecy so we don't spoil it for everyone that comes to see it. But you're guaranteed, if you do come, as I say, to see these scenes in Kent. And one thing I can say about watching a day's filming is the way I describe it is over and over again. Everyone has to get it just right and everything has to be just perfect. And it's all worth it in the end. Thanks very much, Robin. It's just like here. Over <laughs> and over again, perfect yes. all the time. We've been practising this.